Welcome to Around the Reel with your host Aaron Carlson, Charles Lawson, and Samantha Hale. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. Doing the damn thing. Oh, I was conducting. I was conducting. I'm oh, sorry. It's dude. good. <laughs> wow. Look at the crew. Look at the crew. How are we doing? These Beautiful. are my guys. All my guys in one spot. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Beautiful people. Sam, I usually just put it on you, though. I have everybody else in the background. You're the one I can see. Aww. <laughs> That's so sweet. That is sweet. Everybody else is just little squares. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're, you're going to have to show her how to do that next time she has Raymond Power on. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no that. shit. Definitely. Well, I think everybody wants to see Raymond, right? I mean, that's it doesn't just, everybody, I, yeah. yeah. I don't want to see Raymond. Yes. Anymore. That's why he's in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've had enough of Raymond Power. <laughs> you can Aww. never have enough Raymond Power. I agree with you, Steve, and I think Aaron's just jealous. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we I'm go jealous. <laughs> this what are you going to do? Not how I thought the show would start, man. Whatever. No, okay. You want to know how this show's going to start, you guys. Okay, go. What? Let me just tell you about something. This has been the best day ever. You want to know why? Um, yes. It's a show. We should yes. probably explain. <laughs> you woke up and saw me next to you. Oh, well, no. Okay. Great. And this time he wasn't naked. <laughs> no, he's always naked. All right, pretty much. Anyway. Yeah, I'm um, to sleep. I have to sleep. I can't sleep with drawers on but anymore. I, I sleep like in like a parka. And, <laughs> like, I fuck. just want to know who has seen that picture of Aaron and Sam like of 10 years ago. Oh, I don't know what, what it is. Is it they the have not changed. They have not changed. They have the same face. You're so yeah. nice. What is, the, what is the deal here? You guys doing voodoo or something? It's some crazy shit, yeah. I think it's, <laughs> I, like I said, when I texted you that, I was like, I think we, when I'm cooking, I'm using kids' blood and uh, eating children. <laughs> oh, yeah, when we eat kids. <laughs> exactly. That's the same, thing. Yeah, 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 you know, it's all, it's all Moloch stuff. I look at a picture yeah. of me and my wife ten years ago. I'm like, what happened? You look That's great. I tell her, you them. look great. I don't know. What are these things under my eyes, man? <laughs> Trust us. We've got them. We, we have. Got them. They're there. Yes. Trust me. I get it. I don't know if this is going to zoom in. Oh, no. It's going to be too much. We can't right. it. No, we can't. Oh, yes. We can kind of. Oh, there oh, it is. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. that What's that on your head? Yes. Okay. That'd be hair, motherfucker. Oh, so we were talking about like how haughty you were. Oh at... my god, dude! Remember when you guys came to the Fourth of July at my aunt Cindy's house? Yeah, back, back in the day. Okay, time. so we were talking about how good looking you were then. Yeah, you were really. Yeah, you were a good looking guy. I mean, not that you're not good looking now. Yeah, but you were. Thanks, really... motherfuckers. No, just just like you were really, really a hottie then. Yeah, we... like it happens. Hottie, hottie. It happens, Charles. We all will lose. We have a window of time. Yeah. Where we look like a badass, and then it kind of just fades away. It's, and it's, I don't know it's if fine. you guys see like it yet, but I'm, I, I, I'm, it's it got starting that receding. to like, this <laughs> it's, time, mm -hmm. it's, I don't see and it. And the barber yes, goes, Anthony, you're fine, well, you can still well, comb over, you can still comb over. So now I'm combing over, and I guess I'm at that stage now where that's a thing. I didn't know that that was a thing, but apparently it's a thing. It's, it's a, a comb fucking over thing. Stage. It's a comb over, yeah. So so everyone does it's like the Titanic. Care, Eventually you'll just give up and just I shave it. the stages of life. <laughs> my, my, my Captain Steubing hasn't completely connected yet, so I've got you know I've got the, 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 the mower patch back here still. This is a little fuzzy, and then this is just all gone. But when when was enough enough though? That's the question I want. I can like, tell. When you. was the stage where it's like, you know what, it's time to let it go? Like when I, when does that happen? Oh, I can tell. When you. your when your wife tells you that is enough, you need to let it no, go. No, I will eat the wife you. is the yeah. That yeah, is yeah, exactly she will be. when I did it. Okay. Sam really? Sam did it didn't do that with me. You always wanted me to shave my fucking head. Because you like well, ball heads, you like to grab them and like okay, well, kind of. do this on. Them <laughs> well, I like stuff. to rub. I mean, they're good she luck. Likes the palm them. They're good luck if you. Rub yeah, them. she loves that shit. So. I was anti bald head stuff, but then yeah. I started. It started to get a little like weak up here. Like there was this. There's no. The back here. No, right on the top <laughs> for me. Just and admit it. It just was started thin. Bows of the clown. It was coming. thin. So whenever we were making movies, and I, I put my head down, you know, I had a gun and I was shooting, and I'd see it on screen, and I'm like, there's a a little there's a That's little so light cool. there's not enough hair there anymore <laughs> i hate Shit it it gets real yeah quick i shaved it yeah. as soon as that i can grow some hair if i need to right now but up here yeah. it will, there will be a hole 
fuck the hole. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna so, happen. so I didn't I didn't shave for a long time, but I can go back to Aaron will appreciate this old Sam. La- the Lost Book of Kai Parr. Oh yeah. Yeah, our movie. Yeah. I had so much forehead that when Aaron was editing the clouds moving by in the background. And they we, went I across my that. head because I looked like the fucking sky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I took, I did the sky replacement tool, and it was a gray day out there, and it was really bright. <laughs> it took his fucking head off. That, that did it. happen. So yeah, you had some clouds so to for, report. For, for me, the first time I shaved was my trip down to uh, Palm Desert when I was writing "Say Goodbye." Oh yeah. And uh, it was the first time I shaved my head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, I had a buzz. Like quarter inch buzz all the time for a long time. Yeah, you did. And then I finally said, "Fuck it." Yep. I and think I've been everyone should be since. bald. Everyone should just be bald. Well, we're pretty much almost there here on CCC. Yeah. I met my wife. I met my wife with long hair. I had it down to my back. Wow. So badass. Well, I don't know if that means she liked the long hair, but she says it's her. Her, her favorite actor is Jason Statham. Okay. So. Okay. I think the Bob thing is she. She said she's already told me when you let it go, it'll be fine. She's waiting. Yeah, she's waiting. <laughs> she's waiting. What's yeah. what's your wife's favorite Steve actor? Uh, uh, it, you know what? It, she's uh, she's an odd one. Like she likes uh, kind of more. Well, okay, for handsomeness, she will compare me to Jason Statham as well. Personally, I think she's yeah. high, but um, <laughs> it's, you know, like it's it, it's a model bald man. Um, but yeah, I just think it's like an evolution thing. I think there was monkeys, and then there's people with hair, and then yeah. there's me. <laughs> so it's okay. Let it go, man. It's okay, Anthony. Welcome to the club. Welcome, brother. You know, bald is beautiful. I believe so. <sighs> That's just my and aerodynamic. Opinion. Yeah. You know, yeah. Hair, and hair, fucking hair, cold. Hair. You shave in the morning. You go outside. It's forty degrees. You're like, oh, Ooh. No. yeah. Right. That's true. That is. And true. then when you shave, now here's the fun part, Anthony. When you shave first thing in the morning. And you grab a beanie and you put the beanie on. I was on, gonna say beanie. And you talk and you they're, talk they're, to people. Different humans. Smoke detectors <laughs> right in my house. And you talk to people when you're freshly shaved. The beanie slowly comes up off the top of your head. Yeah. Oh, does it? it because slips it's so slides? smooth, nothing goes <laughs> down. Yeah. That's funny. Well, that's why I wrote I, goals the way I did in the movie because I wanted to wear somebody with hair. Okay, but the I way, hated the hair. Way. Yeah, and you know what? And the wig is me. badass. I put it that on. Perfect, dude. It, it does. Really if I had could, it, if I could grow it's that. It's like it was your real hair. That's what I'm saying. No, it does. That's what I'm <laughs> saying, it? right? Yeah, it. I can pull it off. I it, need it, that it hair. Really you yeah. literally can pull it off. Just yank it right off. <laughs> Shut up. Today, you don't have to do shit. <laughs> Oh man! All right. Well, I don't think so. I I don't. It's funny to me. I laugh. Yeah, she time. laughs all the time. Every time, and my grandson's terrified of it. Yeah, he gets terrified. Scared. He gets scared. I put well, it on both throwing eyes. it at him, right? No, yeah. I put it on my he head. He puts it on his head, and he, he like cries <laughs> yeah. and freaks out and runs. Oh, and if he oh, tells like when I come God. over and say hi, if he tells him he's gonna put it on, he runs downstairs. Yeah, he love. I love it. It's a great tool, Anthony mm-hmm. and Steve. It's great if you because want him to if go he's being if he's being bad and he's not listening, I'll I'll take my hat off. And be like, you want me to put yeah. it on? You want me to put it on? <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 please, no, <laughs> please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. That's what he says. Please, 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 please stop. Oh, I love that stage. Bro. Yeah. There's, you know the word that they're saying, but they, it doesn't come out right. I love that. It's beautiful, dude. Please stop. It's please slowly stop. starting to fade on my youngest. She's already starting to pronounce it. Oh, no. Oh, going she got to have another one. It's going too fast, man. Got to have another one. You know, it's, it's, it's great. They start to talk, and it's cute, and then they start to talk back. And you want to fucking beat them? <laughs> yeah, they become teenagers. But it's still cute. But they are—they do get mouthy. They do get real mouthy. mouthy. You know what? Yeah. Jace is mouthy. He's yeah. That boy is yeah, our, mouthy. Our grandson's a little mouth. I mean, he's, I, he's I have to watch. Mouth. Yeah, I try to watch my mouth around here now too. Because yeah. even last night, I was sitting. I was like, we were talking about something. And I was like, hey, fuck that, no way. And he looked it at just me. It comes out. Yeah, yeah. And he looked and at my me. My wife gets yeah. on me, you know, because you know the the, the the Chinese are not big on. Bad words. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And I, and when it just it just comes out sometimes, and you don't even know. Yeah. Like, and she, hey, I'm like, oh. Oh, she catches like, you every time. time. I tell her next time, don't react because when you react, they know. <laughs> yes. They then know. You're, then they yeah. know that's the word. You're pointing that's the it word out. You react to. That's exactly right. <laughs> No, my grandson's mm-hmm. bad. He's like, shut up was his favorite thing to say for the for the longest. Now shut he calls, he calls Leo a butt ass dog. Butt ass dog. <laughs> butt ass dog. I wonder where he got that from. Probably, I don't know. You? <laughs> Probably. No, because I used to say fucking dog. <laughs> I mean, whatever. All right. Well, um, 
And you think you none of you even listen to my day? Like, oh yeah, no, yeah, you, you were gonna start the show. Sorry, and then we got distracted with bald heads. We can all talk about bald heads. Sam, start the show. Let's okay. it's a, it was a great day, so let's get back to it. Yeah, let's Sam, go. So everyone Sam. that knows yeah. me oh, knows that doing? I have a super sensitive um, nasal passages. Are super sensitive. Like I can smell everything so much. Like I'm like a dog. Bad. It's bad. So I go to Seattle. It smells like shit. I can't stand it. I can't even be there. <laughs> it, I just bitched the whole time. It smells like shit. It smells like shit. <laughs> but today, guys, guess what happened today? Everything smelled good today. Everything. Like I went to the dentist's office. It smelled good. It's I went to the clean. store. It smelled good. It's Everything awesome. smelled so good today. And I was like, this is a rare ass day. Because never does everything smell good. Everything smelled good. But everything smelled Before good today. you, Sam. So it was my day today. Everything smelled so good. How did you avoid the <laughs> stink? I mean, I how does that know. happen? I don't know. There was no stink today. Huh. I don't know hey, how, but... Do me a favor, drop a big-ass deucer down in the bedroom before you go to bed. Yeah, like he, yeah. blow ass right now during it. No, no, he he, he shits in the morning, so... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a morning pooper. <laughs> oh, no, you can around. control how many times you poop in a day? Once a day, every morning. I, used, fuck I used to be like that. No problem. Yeah, I've been doing that. Actually, I shifted it. And here we go. We went from your great day to us now talking about <laughs> shitting, which is great about Around the Real. So, I, when I was in school... Had a two o'clock shit every day. Two o'clock. Because you had to wait till you're out of school. Because I had to get out of school and then I'd run yeah, home. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, run home and mom was like, oh, it's at that time? Yeah, you got your two o'clock shit. And then I'd run to the fucking bathroom and take my deucer. That's what I would do every day. And somewhere along the line, it switched. And now it's like that 7.30 deuce or 6.30 deuce, whenever it is. I don't know why. What a deuce. It's a deuce. Are you one of those where the, you, you have your morning routine where you drink the coffee and yes. that's the igniter? Yes. It, <laughs> it's the igniter. Perfect. That's the it, name it, of the it, show. For and you. that's a, that, yeah, but, you know, being, you know, coming from Cuban parents, I had the traditional Cuban coffee hit in the morning. Okay. You know, it was just, that was just part of the routine. Mom would give, you know, the shot of the Cuban coffee and that was letting your body know it is time. <laughs> Let's go. I must, Let I must relieve myself. Time. And Excuse if it me. didn't come, and if it didn't come, your glass of water right behind it. Boom. Then it will do it. Boom. And it, then that'll do it. Well, I'm a girl, room. so I don't poop. <laughs> oh. Before I was diagnosed I with C. diff, I was in horrible, miserable pain. I wish I would have known about the Cuban coffee with a glass of water back then. Man. Oh, I mean, that was, I'm telling you, that was, that was, the, that was the go-to. That was it. I mean, then it got to a point where I would get started, I started getting heart palpitations. Because okay. the Cuban oh. coffee then turned into an addiction. And mm. it then turned into a go-to for everything else. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Oh, I'm stressed no. out. Yeah, some Cuban coffee. Cuban yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah, that. And then it just got to the point where I had to find other remedies. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it, that is not how it goes. <sighs> yeah. Oh gosh. Well, anyway, I just. How shit. fun is it though to have you guys? And I don't want to hear about any more of your shit. Anymore. No, I was just gonna end it with it with one more shit comment. I was there. <laughs> but we're gonna start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to cut him off, guys. Sorry. No, it's fine. No, someone else started it. It wasn't me. Someone, I, oh, Chuck I started it. I told Aaron to go it. drop a deucer. Well, yes. it really oh, was yeah. And then you followed up with it, and then I retort. I wasn't yeah. trying to, like, know who started it. I don't care about that. I'm I was just trying to end it. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I, I pay attention to the conversations. That's all I'm saying. We're the guys, I guess, don't care about things smelling good. They care about things smelling bad. Apparently, because yeah, yeah, it yeah, turned yeah, into yeah. everything smelled good today to we were talking about poop. Well, I'm very happy, Sam, that you had a good smelling day. It was the only good smelling day I've ever had in my life. Wow. That's incredible. Just so you guys know, it was a great day. Yeah. yeah, and it's horrible going to Seattle with Sam because yeah. it's it's we don't go up there very much, and, and when we do, do it's bitch. like really fun. She just bitches the whole time the how bad it smells, and I'm like, I don't even so, smell anything. It smells so bad, guys. It smells, it smells so like urine everywhere. It's been it a does not. Urine and vomit. I was there in 2010. It was. I don't remember it smelling. It doesn't bad. smell. Yeah, I mean, so I've, bad. I've, I've been I've been in Seattle for almost the whole time I've been up here, and yeah, it's always had a so bad. It's always had a street smell. Yeah. It's, it's so urine, I like the street know. smell then. I do not I think like it's it. fucking cool. I like the street smell. Yeah, I think it's badass. It smells like reality. Exactly. No, this is our no fucking like planet. This is what 
<laughs> this is where we're at. Well, <laughs> we need to put some perfume on the planet because that well, is I'm not going to argue good. with that. Point, Hi, I'm Sam. I'm going to make a documentary, but I can't make it up here. Can you guys all come down here to the pretty fields and then we'll do it down here? Yeah. yeah. Where the flowers are. Yeah. A little bit of Did the horse shit not bother you, though? Um, when you that guys doesn't really bother me, no. See, that bothered me. That doesn't bother me, no. Wait, now, when you're downwind on the ranch. I'm and, country at heart. So. Yeah, when you smell cow shit and fucking horse shit and everybody There's else shit. There's something natural about it, though. But Seattle, I don't know. I to, as a side job, I used to, you know, pick up shit, horse manure. Okay. A, you can say teenager. shit. Yeah, I get it. I, I get it. Say said fuck, you can say shit. He can. But, yeah, his, but his yeah. little babies, his his and his, his wife is, might have is Asian. She don't fuck around. So. Yeah, she'll karate yeah. chop his ass. She's not gonna play. <laughs> I've seen. I've smelled some pretty crazy things. Mm. Well, I have too. I've, right? been, I've been to pr some pretty crazy parts of the world. Aaron was a garbage man, so I would, would say he takes good. the cake. Yeah, I, I dumped garbage, garbage man for right there. six years. No kidding. I'm a, a nurse. Cluster. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Right. Oh, right. you might yeah. take the cake, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, I, I don't normally want to jump on it, but yes, I, I, I probably do. Yeah. You probably I, take I, the yeah. cake. Yeah. Even over a garbage well, man, I, really? I've had some good What's that? Even over a garbage man, you think you take the cake on the on There's the odd smell smells. ever? There's odd smells in the you garbage. Might, it's though. ridiculous. Okay. I, I have almost no sense of smell, which is really good, but I've, I mean, it's a good thing in my job. But Absolutely. like every once in a while, something will hit me like a wound or something, and I'll be like, "Holy fuck!" Oh, yeah, you know, that's bad. like it'll be, yeah, that's yeah bad. it's over. I couldn't do that yeah, job I'm... because I'm like a bloodhound. Yeah, think about hot yeah. garbage cans in the summer with maggots in them, with r mm -hmm. rotten meat. Mm -hmm. Think about now you're talking think... sexy. Yeah, that's yeah. good, right? And that's a, <laughs> yeah. that's a good smell. Um, bow, bow, bow. And that's not the worst one. <laughs> the worst one that everybody gets is the fucking yard waste. The yard waste is the worst. Right? That's the worst. It is. That's so the worst, bad, especially yeah. in summer. It just sits there and sweats Something and bleeds about out yeah. funk. Yeah, it's brutal. It's brutal. Yeah. Like, it's have right. you ever can, left like take... your grass in your lawnmower and then like for a long time and then you go and you grab it out and it's just like it decomposes like everything else mm. and it's it smells so like crap. I guess because it's but, living right at one time. Well, I can a... take the smell of a rotting corpse <laughs> over the smell of a slaughterhouse with. You know, like, like so, like you know, on, on farms and stuff where they do the slaughtering and everything on on site. So you have the cow manure and the slaughterhouse all in one and one smell. That kills me. But you put a dead rotting body in front of me, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's bad. Have that's you bad. ever? You've smelled yeah. a dead rotting body. I think I would. I come from a family of morticians. Remember? Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. God, oh. I always forget about that. Yeah. I always forget. That's Chuck might have his feet. That's why he's so yeah. fucked up. Um, here, here we are. Hey, Look, I take total truth to that fucking statement. The shit is accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so we all gathered here today to have a discussion about something entirely different than what we're talking about for the first 17 so minutes of this yeah. show. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. We didn't get to babble in the last show, so we're taking it out on YouTube yeah. because yeah. we all love each other. Yeah. Yes, we do. It's that's hilarious. Right. We're all family here. Um... But it's 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 a cool concept that we've got to discuss today. I think a little bit. Um, this this thing came up the other night. Sam and I were just chatting, and we started talking about limits, like as, as an artist, you know. And and we all know that they're we're all limited in one way or another, right? But mainly when, monetarily. When, yeah. Sure. But you know, when yeah. when if you're writing something, Anthony, when you're writing your music or you know, when we're writing our screenplays and that vision hits you or that feeling hits you, you know, you want to get it out. And then you, maybe you're not at that point yet to be able to totally capture everything that like, you, you for want Anthony, to express. Say a whole choir. Or would what, be, you know, involved. Yeah. And you'd have to go that far. Yeah. You know, like yeah, and I, I think it goes across the board, right? For all artists, uh, one way or another, I think this sure. is, is oh, relatable. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then, and then you got to figure out how to deal with that. I've seen so many movies. I'll talk from the filmmaking side, where you know you, you can tell where a filmmaker's at in their career, and they're doing this huge thing, and they're trying hard, and the, the effects come out really shitty. Yeah, because they don't. And have you know they don't have the actors to pull off this drama or or whatever it is. And, and you're just, it just pulls you out. And we start talking about, does that hurt your art? You know, you, you being so stubborn about your vision and you're not at that point yet. Like if I go to the gym and I haven't worked out in a long time, I'm not going to go and try to do, you know, 275 pounds on the bench press. I'm going to start small again and work my way up to that point. 
you know, just to build up that, 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 that muscle memory, right? And I think as a filmmaker or any kind of artist, I can't help but think that, you know, that's how it should be done. I think you can tell your stories or do whatever art you're doing in a constructive way. And, you, you, and you've got to not let yourself get upset that you can't reach that vision right away. That's kind of where yeah. I'm at with this subject matter. And believe me, I've went through that on my own here because I was very stubborn in the beginning. If you watch this movie behind me, The Outrider, I had huge visions for that. None of that came out the but way I wanted tried. it. I tried. He and tried. It, you know what? And a lot of it didn't work. And I think it hurts the film now. Honestly. You know? I mean, and but does it? That's the question, I guess, that yeah. we're kind of asking is, you know, are you selling yourself short, dumbing your stuff down? from what your original vision or your original dream is or are you doing the right thing by staying in your lane and what you know and still tell the best story you can the way you can with what you got yes yeah that's well, I'm, gonna start off, I'm gonna start off your oh. pre premise of what you're saying by complimenting everybody who's here because honestly if we would have had both of these gentlemen doing the outrider and don't get me wrong. Our oh, score for the outrider for is very sure, good, yeah. obviously. No, for sure. Our score, don't get me wrong. But with Anthony's take on things, when he hears it, but mm -hmm. where the fuck did you go? I'm trying to pay you a compliment, Steve. Come the fuck back <laughs> right here. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. If Hold we would have had Steve, he can hear you. He can hear you. We would have had. Great. Now I'm looking at the ceiling. And, he and can now hear you. That's all you need oh. to know is he can hear you. So keep going. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, it's fun just, watching. I needed a battery. I am so ready. You're fine. You're fine. So if we would have had Steve when we made the outrider, that final scene would have been better. Yeah. Yeah. Because he well, knows how to do the things that we didn't know how to do. But that was the thing so is we didn't know how to do it at the time. Exactly. And but I mean, that's one of the things Steve. that we always talk about is you, you bring in people and mm -hmm. every time you reach out to somebody, every time you do something, you beat somebody new. I mean, now we have an FX team we work with. We have Steve who takes care of visual stuff. We have Anthony who diddles inside of all of our minds with all of his beautiful. I enjoyed the score. Key, key work. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I, I, well, I said I can't. No. I can't bash score the outrider was score. Good, it was good. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it was good. But, the score um, is good. Yeah, the score is but good. With, the score but saved with, the movie. But, <laughs> but with the way that you bring things, the way that you get, you get more involved as a person with each storyline that we're telling than any composer we've ever worked with. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that, sorry. No, that's true. There you go, Aaron, right there. There you go, Goosebumps. You get more, you, you'll sit down for two hours and have a conversation with Sam about our documentary, me about Say Goodbye, mm -hmm. Aaron, Aaron, if he ever writes anything original. Um, <sighs> I'm kidding. I love you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but getting to know the but person, no, getting to know the get, director, it's so huge. Director, you get so big. the backstories of the, everything. Mm -hmm. When you write your score, it's amazing. And Steve, with everything that you can do visually, and I have no idea if you guys are aware I'm looking at you on the screen. But with everything that you can do, help us out with visually. I mean, everything we do, we, everything we've done now is so much better. Even the intro for um, our next documentary for Sam, A Will and Away, with all the blending that you did every, of, of all that opening scene, that's awesome. Oh, that one shot he did. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you, Chuck. And thank you so much, Chuck. I love you. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm done patting everybody on the back and stroking no, everybody under the table. It's thank well you, guys. Well I, I love you all, and I'm glad that I'm with my head on my ass on my back so here you go uh, yeah uh, if i can uh it, you know here's here's my personal opinion on the question i think it kind of depends on what you're trying to do as an artist and i don't mean that just literally in what plot you're trying to do or what you're extending i think it's like what part of it makes you want to make something um i think uh some people and i, I put myself very much in this category um I think some people it is some people it's about the excitement of doing something you're not quite sure if you can do like outside of the box and yeah, yeah and, and I think like for, for me for example like if it's something I know without a doubt I can comfortably do I, I may be happier with the final product but uh I will have regret you like because the challenge maybe I could have yeah and, okay. and I think that that that's the part that excites me personally oh, as an artist if it's something if it's something i know for a fact i can do and all i have to do is put my hand to it it it's cool do it but it will it, it will missing out on the part that i had to let go and i think there's always 
uh, there's always compromise. Always. That's a very every, interesting every, every, take. Yeah. That's definitely a very interesting take, Steve. Like, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, that's, that's, yeah, some people do, do like that challenge. I right? have. And that's, that's, that's good, Steve. I, I like that a lot because that's kind of where I was when I started this. You know, I, I, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out a way to do these things. And then, you know, I figured it out and I was super happy with it. But then as time goes on, you realize how you, you, you weren't ready for it right you know and that's that's where i kind of came down but, but now you are yeah i i know i am but i'm still so, yeah. i'm i'm still kind of result of it. yeah so but for, i feel like doubt is the clutter of the mind True. explain that explain that. doubting as soon as you start doubting yourself and any capability of anything especially if it's something that you want to do you're already not even on square one because yeah. you know and, and i think doubt just comes from our perception of somebody else who's been doing it for years and then we feel we have to match that right yeah and, and that's Fair. the error right there is that you, that person matched their potential and god knows what they had to get through to get what they had to go through to get there mm -hmm. and um i've always looked at with what i want to do is that i'm not afraid to fail because and i don't know if it's just the blessing of having gone through a hard childhood or, or, or having gone through the dark like the way I did at such an early age, which I call that a blessing because I feel like true blessing is the things that you're able to get back up from um, when you're knocked mm -hmm. down. So that's the true blessing. It's not what you have in your life or what you're given. It's the fact that you've been able to get through some of those dark moments in your life. But going back to that is it's the it's the doubt, getting through the doubt. Well, and you're mm -hmm. less fearful as mm -hmm. someone who's gone through things yeah. like, like say yeah. you, you know, like you're yeah. less fearful to take chances as somebody else who say hasn't had, you know, that kind of hasn't grown up the same way. Yes. It could be very scary. Yeah, it definitely. Scary. I mean, yeah. it is scary. You don't want to disappoint. But you, is, you, it, you feel like, is it doubt yeah, that you, you feel or is it like, are you trying to be realistic? Because from my standpoint, and Aaron and I always argue this because he always says, you know, you're being negative, negative. And I'm like, no, but I'm not. I'm being realistic because I'm try. I try to be realistic about things. And, and so it's a I, spectrum. Yeah, yeah it, it, I mean, it, it, it's really hard is. to say. It's yeah. not like I'm doubting myself, but I, I am trying to be realistic. Mm -hmm. And sometimes will, realistic I, I can look get, doubtful. I, but I will say that Aaron's aspect of you being pessimistic towards your realism is true because sometimes your realism that you're thinking of is everything that can happen. And you can't live with what can happen, Sam. You have the most successful movie that we've made yet. And I think it so goes back, it goes back to the, 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 the clutter of the mind of being of mm -hmm. doubting yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Because, well, again, it, it all depends on how strong your belief is in yourself and how strong your dream is. Correct. And your want to yeah. test it. Yeah. I think exactly. I think that that yeah. feeling of that feeling of uh, saying uh, there there I mean what I was saying earlier there is absolutely a limit to it. I think I think what Sam was saying is really intelligent as far as there is the realism of any situation and it gets into the how much effort do you want to put in to make it closer to the vision that you might end up and this is anything painting art anything it's how much more work do you want to have to put in and how much time do you want to have to invest to maybe make it closer to a vision that you wanted it to be right or and just how much of a pain that... in the ass is that right true right. But true mm -hmm. or if putting in all of that work is still is still lacking for it's your still, final product still because subpar. it's yeah. not yeah because yeah. it's just not yeah. there you're not yet. there yet so are you making yeah. yourself or your art um, look bad because you're trying too hard maybe to get to somewhere that you're just not yet and you're not there it's, yet it's so hard to That's say the balance. like it's so hard because yeah. you want to push yourself so a, good, a good question is is to say why do you feel you're not there right well and i think and, 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 and i think it comes from outside perspective anything that comes from the outside and enters into your mind and is taken at face value is going to corrupt you in some sort of way whether it be mm -hmm. a bad comment, whether it be a bad review, whether it be if somebody says, eh, I'm not that big of a fan of it, whether it be, you know, it, you're looking at another movie and then you're comparing it to yours. I think all of that is, is you're, you're creating limits. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're creating a limit. 
Well, and maybe we should say why this even came up. Yeah, you're letting the noise get to you. Um, You're letting the noise come in. And I think that if you're able to take a step back and just tell yourself that you did it, that's square one. Exactly. True. Yeah, I do. Because you know how many no, people who don't do it? You know how many people go 50% into a movie? God knows I've been a part of a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And then they're just like, eh. Me I'm too. Oh, yeah. I'm done. Yeah. Really? I'm glad to know that we're the ones that go all the way. I know, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad to know that. Too, and I have to tell you. you know where <laughs> Even you if see we're going to come out dirty. Sorry. You know where your limit should be? Your limit should be the movie that you did prior. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, start, well, you start at the Outrider, then you go to the Giant Pacific Octopus, then you go to the next one, then you go to the next one. Because I'll be honest with you, I look at the Horrorverse and I see the Rider, and I see two different filmmakers. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen, I have seen. see two different filmmakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that should be your limit. Your your limit should only be how you the project you did before. Yeah. Okay. Okay. True. Really, you no, really that's, that's great. And that's I a great way that. to look at it. Yeah. And I think. Sam, for perspective, I think is where she's going with this because I was very stubborn on the outright. Like I, I literally was where you were at. I didn't think. Why are you guys cutting that part? I wanted to go far. I wanted to make this thing so big. He wanted to jump from car to car while they're moving and shit, and it was like, yeah, yeah. I wanted to do all kinds of crazy cool shit. Aaron grew up in the golden age of film. I did. I did. Yes, it's really yes. unfair. Yeah. I mean, some of the scores that I listen to, Blood Sports. Right. And- but oh, oh, we're, talking, we're, talking, we're talking millions of do- I mean, billions, I mean, millions of can't. dollars. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, that's what their budget was. Their yeah. budget was astronomical. And that's, that's and they what had very talented I've always tried to reason with Aaron in that way. Yeah. We don't have that kind of budget and I'm for like, that kind of movie. And I'm like, fuck it. I'll figure it out. I'll do it myself. That's what I was. He has billion dollar dreams. Yeah, and but we did. don't have billion dollar monies. Yeah, yeah. And now but the point is, is you took what you could do, and you did the best you could, mm-hmm. and you made your film. I mean, that's one of the things we yeah. always tell everybody: no matter what your thought is, no matter what your dream is, make your film. But the it, question it might not is, be exactly what you think. do we dumb that down? Yeah. Do we dumb it down to make to to what we can do and make it the best we can with what we've got? Do you de-escalate your or vision do you try to. Go- to- to make the best film you can with the story that you have. That's well, kind of... We're, we're all here in the same room. Steve's first rewrite for yeah. The Hunt. Yeah. I'm that's reading it. I'm like, gonna bring how up the about... fuck are we going to pull this off? We that's, don't have any money. That's and how I love this that. came up. Yeah, that's exactly it. And I love I love his stories. You know, yes. he's yeah. taken... You know, I write a dumbed down version now of w- what I know will tell the story because we don't have the fucking money. With what we you got. You know, my yeah. vision is huge, but I dumb it down. Then I give it to Steve and he amps it the fuck up. And I'm yeah. like, God damn. <laughs> God damn. And that's, that's exactly. That's a great thing, though, because you, you, you pick the right people. I mean, that's a team, too. Yeah, yeah. That, exactly. Some people yeah. just want to make a movie just by themselves. And I think when you start establishing some of these people around you, it makes the process a whole lot easier. It is. It, it is. It does, but it, but at the yeah. same time, it's it's also a dilemma sometimes. It is. Do we a tell Steve yeah. to dial back on his dream or his his, his vision? vision because he's oh, got great, do. amazing, <laughs> amazing vision. Yeah. You know, like his stories are amazing. Yeah, and that's you know, and Aaron's stories would be you know as elaborate as that. He has mm-hmm. learned over time to dial back on himself because he can't do he can't he knows what he can do and what he can't so he's dialed Look, back. Motherfucker, you can't jump over a car. No, but what I do but it's, 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 it's interesting though because with Steve coming into the picture and Steve doesn't know that. You know, he doesn't know that. He just tells his stories. And, and so well, and, and it's a beautiful it, thing and it's such a dilemma to know what what to, do you tell Steve to dial back? Or no, do you, you don't tell him oh, well, you, well and we know, do, what do you do? Like we do actually like we end up going back and forth quite a bit yeah. and like it'll often be me where I'll go I mean like if I let and I've I've made enough before working in with you um to know what we could do with a lot of effort. And I think mm-hmm. that's where we end up. Yeah. Right. But if I were to really just let the hog loose, just like you would, it'd be ten right. Times yeah. Bigger. yeah. And seeing that, and then um, I've got these variables when we're on set. You know, we're we're not paying yeah. anybody. We don't right. have all this yeah. time. I don't want these fuckers to be out here all day. I don't want to be out there all day trying to figure yeah. something out. Yeah. So you start feeling like you know, I'm 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 blessed to have them here in the yeah. first fucking place. So let's let's yeah. yeah let's make 
the best content we can with the people we have as efficiently as we possibly can to tell the story that we're trying to get out. And maybe one day, if we keep working our asses off the way we're doing, and we we will have everyone. that budget and we can pay these people and then maybe we can start sh showcasing this stuff that we've been holding back on for fucking so long. That, you know, that's where I've gotten to and I just want to, when we make something, I still want to be very proud of it when I see it on screen. I never want to cringe when I see a scene or or an effect or, or anything where I'm like, ugh. I'd rather dumb it the fuck down right now and tell the story the best possible way. And have it be beautiful. And, and still, awesome. and have everybody be super proud of it and go, hey, it didn't hit in certain spots. I'm like, yeah, because we couldn't do certain things. But did you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. But it's bad. a spectrum there. And I'm okay I mean, with it. There is a spectrum there. It's interesting, right? Absolutely. This is why we started yeah. talking about it in the kitchen. We were like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, we were like, this is, we need all of our people yeah. to be talking about because this. Because I agree with Steve. <laughs> yeah. I agree with Anthony. There yeah. shouldn't be a limit. No, but, there shouldn't. But sometimes but, there is, and then you've is. got variables, and what do you do? What like, do you what do? the fuck do you do? Well, and and you, you meet in the middle. I mean, that's the best we could do. It's yeah. like, I mean, we do constantly. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, every single thing we've worked on together, uh, I think we started with one thing and then kind of went, hey, let's dumb this down or not even dumb this down. Let's try to make this more this way to make it more filmable. And, you know, I think we both kind of have to go, yeah, let's do that, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, well, and, I mean, let's, and let's, it's like, let's could lose. we go further with that? Yeah. Absolutely, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's look at last week. Last stretch. week in shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at last week in shoot. So last week in shoot, we were supposed to be inside of a building and everything else, but we were doing. We didn't have a building available at the time, so we ended up shooting in this very cool old ass cemetery. Yep. By the way, I haven't Thank had any creepy feelings since then. <laughs> um, I have not been yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we're good to go. Yeah. We made this. We made um, the, the the spirits happy put it that way they didn't fuck with yeah me exactly yeah. uh but we but obviously the scene we shot is a lot different than what's on paper mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. it's sure it wasn't necessarily sure, sure, sure. that and it wasn't necessarily that we dumbed it down but we adapted the shoot to what was available to us at the time well dumbing it down yes. is a really yeah. bad way to put it that's just my yeah. word i think that's and the I, wrong that's choice the of words absolutely yeah. the yeah. wrong it's, choice of words it's, yeah you yeah. work with what you got i mean right in reverse, yeah. Like, if, if I were to approach what you guys were saying in regards to a score, I always approach every movie like that's the movie that's going to change my life. I do, I approach, too. It doesn't matter how big or small, because yeah. I've seen some of the smallest projects I ever work on lead to some of the biggest ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. I approach yeah. every project this, the, with that level of intensity and focus, every single one that comes into my lap. Because okay. I know something is going to come from it. <clears throat> right. So Absolutely. I give it my best. Yes. And I think instead of using the word dumbing down, it's I did my best. Yes. Okay. And you should and always. the fact that you yes. did your best, there's nothing else you could have done. Right. There's yeah. nothing okay. else you could have done. So I have and a I question for everything. you, Anthony. I mean, I, I've, been I've been talking <laughs> to a filmmaker. Well, I won't say his name. But um, well-known person. Well-known person has done in tons of movies did a movie and regrets a lot of the things that that happened but at the end of the day when he looks back and he starts talking about all the things that went wrong he says to himself i got through it mm -hmm. and this was the product so i did my best all right in the circumstances with all those limits that right. presented themselves and all those things i did my best so at the end of the day you have a film you did your best there is nothing else that was asked of you. The universe wants nothing else. God, Jesus, nobody wants anything else other than what you provide as far as your best. Yeah. Because yeah. I promise you, the next thing that comes into play is going to ask the same type of best, but it's going to be different because you learned those things that you needed to learn. You did. I'm best. sure there were things in the Outrider that you're like, I had no clue that now you're like, I got this in the bag. I right. know how to do it. Yeah, you do your you do your reps is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do reps. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're all growing and learning, and I think we've grown a ton from the Outrider to now to where we're at now. Yeah. But at the Without same time, a doubt. yeah, definitely. But at the same time, we always kind of have that dilemma where we kind of wonder, you know, what are our limits and what can we do? Because there's 
we dream big. Aaron dreams big. I should say, Aaron dreams big. I don't as much. I'm more realistic. Aaron's more big dreamer, but he dreams big. And I always try to kind of dial him down just to keep him in his lane, basically. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean like no. if I can keep him from going, you know, billion dollar budget <laughs> on something we don't have a billion dollars for, that's where I try to kind of keep him. So I, but and. But, I, you know, you want to do it. I don't want to discourage him in any way, but I always want to keep him in, like, reality. And just being realistic about that. It's a scary thing, that, it's you know? a scary thing but so unfortunately... Fair. It, it is unfortunately. Unfortunately, <clears throat> unfortunately I, I, I read story after story about so-and-so was given 300000 400000 half a million, and then they're able to make something of it. That's and, what we try to do. That's and what... That's, yeah. and, it's a scary thing to be given that level of funding for your dream because usually when you're given that level of funding, it's really hit or miss. Yeah. Probably not going to get that again. So I think it's really scary when you're scary. putting your, not only yourself, but your family in jeopardy, mm -hmm. you're putting your, 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 your future in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. It's a scary thing. What we do. There were times where I was like, I'm not going to say that, you know, the, the tough umbrella has been easy on me. There were times where I looked at my wife and I'm, I questioned on whether I should keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Especially mm -hmm. when you have kids and yeah. you have you have to provide and mm -hmm. you want the best for your kids and you want the yeah. best for your wife and you want, you know, and, and so and I think be the so limit, the it's like you do what person. you got to do yep. to keep going. Yes. Whatever yeah. the cost. Yeah. And it's all about how strong the dream is. Yeah. How strong it is! I don't see myself doing anything else. Yeah. Yeah. I always go back to the the, the master class that I took from Hans Zimmer, where <laughs> he says, "I didn't. I don't know how to do anything. Else. I can't be a plumber. I can't be a mechanic. I can't be. I can't learn. I don't want to learn a new trick. Right. This. It's this or nothing else. And that mentality to me was just like, I can't do anything else. And this I, is what I'm you know with you. Yeah. 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 And I get that. Yeah. So if I have to Uber to make it to make it a thing, then I'll Uber to continue to make it a thing until right. it gets to a point where I don't have to Uber. Fuck right. yeah. Right, Fuck right, yeah. Right. You know and what I mean? And I if do. I have to do a hard it. time mm -hmm. to make ends meet so that way I can continue to do this, I won't have to have the part time. So yeah. there'll come a time. God will honor that sacrifice. Right. It's what you're put on here to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. And I think a lot of that plays into the stuff that you do for free in this, especially in this, you know, film industry, because a lot of things you do for free, you give your time, you give, you know, whether constantly. you're, whether you're at, yeah. constantly, you know, you do, but you're investing in something you believe in. So at the mm -hmm. end of the day, you're, you're hoping, you know, you're believing in something that you hope becomes something. And so like us at CCC Entertainment Group, when we built what we built, we have been trying to build that with everyone, with like our team, you know, and we're building it together. And a lot of our team has given us endless time and of an endless effort towards, you know, for free, for nothing. Yeah. And, but we don't look at it that way. We don't look like it's for nothing, but we're trying to build something that we can bring everyone into the final. Yeah, I feel like I feel like fucking Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber. I'm like, Here, here's an IOU. Hold that one. Right. Keep that just one. Hang on to oh, that. That's a big one. You hang on to that. Hang on. But, but why do <laughs> no, they? Seriously. But why do they keep grabbing them from you? Is the like, that's the question? When 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 you have people who are willing to do that, uh, it's, it's I think a, it's there's incredible. a reason they keep doing it. It's yes, incredible you know, though that they do. It, it, yeah, it is. You guys it have a level is, of I mean, enthusiasm. You, 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 Sam it, and Aaron it, have a Chuck. You guys have a level of enthusiasm to you that's rare. And I think that's why people gravitate, you know, gravitate towards you is because the love is there for what you're doing, and the commitment is there, and enthusiasm is a big thing in this industry. Yeah, yeah, and, and it helps. You got it shines off of you guys. Oh, well, I mean, here's, here's a great example. I I took a gigantic hiatus. We all know this. It's not yes. a hand. Yes. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's we actually secret. have a podcast took, to do about this, but yes, yes. we do. I, I have. I took a gigantic hiatus, and Steve, he's like, you know, Steve's like, oh, you know, when I when I started coming back more, do be coming back into my own mind and doing what I'm doing, you know, all that kind of stuff. Steve's like, you know what? I I, I I filled your chair as best I can, but here it's for you. And I'm like, no, man, this is a giant table. Your chair is right you're, here. You're right here. Yeah, yeah. you're right. You next are right here. You deserve to be here. 
and everybody the knights of the round table right and, it's, and, and as stupid <laughs> as it sounds and as funny as it is to say it's a hundred percent true yeah. because everything yeah. that we do okay right now hands down wherever sam is on the screen for wherever shit is at right. she is the highest producing filmmaker of the group Yep. Yeah. Yes, we have 250, so 270 some odd thousand views of The Shape. Yay. Thank you, YouTube. Woo. But as far as great. income coming in, she is the highest producing. I, I'm doing this because she's over there. She can be over we there. We get that, Chuck. There. Continue. <laughs> she is the highest producing person that we have. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> she is the highest producing person that we have Yeah. doing things for us. So when she has doubt, Sam, not only are you the highest producing person for us, you are one of the best documentarians in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, yeah. you're amazing. Because of the Thank success we're having on Tubi TV. By fucking far. Yeah. Wow. You know, and it's okay. it's and, and that's not bullshit to me. That, but... We've seen we've seen these nope. movies. We've watched these movies. We've seen where and the think, levels are. I, I think a will in a way is a result of the giant Pacific It Northwest. fucking is. It okay. is, absolutely. It's, Thank you. Thank you. it's, it's her Empire Strikes Back, bro. <laughs> Yeah, it's huge, I mean, yeah, and I hope there's more to come from it. It will be, to be honest, and it will be, and that's and that's the beauty of this is that people, out of the twenty thousand that are gonna talk S H I T, there's gonna be that group that say, "Wow, yeah, you know, this is this is legit what this person is doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. look at look at what they've been able to do, and I what did they do it with? Yeah, and, exactly. exactly. Do it with they're like, how about we put in a little bit in? Yeah." Happened. I didn't get very you know? much hate on the giant Pacific octopus, and I guess that's why I'm continuing because I I'm not good. With you didn't hate. feel it. You didn't feel it. I'm not good with hate. Didn't get really very much hate. Did. Honey, you haven't gotten any hate. On <laughs> you didn't get zero. I didn't get, zero. I got zero. Hate Even on it, I got the zero haters hate. couldn't talk shit. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It, it felt. I mean, but it made me want to continue, and so that's why I'm doing a will in a way now because I'm hope I'm. I hope to kind of carry that on. I'm not well. I don't do well with hate. So if if something gets really hated on, imagine uh, and you know, I'm going to take a chuck hiatus. <laughs> don't worry. There's <laughs> beautiful hiatus. symbolism there because you guys went from the ocean to the to land. Yeah, yeah. I mean, beautiful symbolism. And we went from animals huh? to a family, a human family. You yeah, know, that's um, amazing. It is amazing. Just, and that's where I think her path needs to lead. There's so many things that I know Sam has. That she wants to dive into as far as and I this can, planet. I, can, I would I would argue that documentary is harder than a film is. Oh, I don't know about that. Because documentaries I, I, tell I, themselves. I, I, I argue tell that, and the reason I argue that is because you, you're telling something that's truth. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to make something it. up. Yeah, you, that's true. You know? And I think now I more than point. everything. People are starting to criticize documentary because of the fact that it's not being true truthfully. Right. Now, I don't know if you guys know what I'm right. talking about. Oh, I know absolutely. what you're talking about. The documentary on Netflix that's being really scrutinized mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Yep. And it's because maybe they didn't get all the facts correct. Right. right. And right. that's what that's one thing. Necessarily call it a documentary. Yeah. You do. Right. You gotta <laughs> check your facts. So, and you have to. You have to make sure what you're easy, saying is. It's not an easy genre. No, it's not. It's not in that way. You're right. And I do a lot of research, like a ton, an absolute like days and days and weeks and weeks of research, just to make sure that my facts are correct. Because I don't want to put false information out there. And I did that with the giant Pacific octopus, and I was so relieved. <laughs> when I didn't get shit and backlash on it because it was hard. I mean, to make sure that you have all your facts correct and not putting false information out there. And I even got mad at Aaron one time because he put a that put trailer a, out. He put a trailer out and it was not correct. And the way he put it, it was um, it was what she said, but it was out of context. It was, was out of not? context. I love Aaron. It was out of context. Aaron just wants, Aaron's like me. He goes, I want to get it out there. I want to get it out he there. He does. Yeah, dude, you, know? you got to do it, dude. Bro. And I liked it. I approved it. And it went out there. And the person who said it came back and was like, oh, you know, and super nice person. Like she wasn't even critis critical about it. She was just like, the way that you put that, like, mm, you know, like, that wasn't what I said, and like people are getting on my case about it. Mm -hmm. So, cause she's a, you know, she works for. She knows her she, shit. Yeah, and she's she was. I mean, to, you were dealing with oceanographers yes. and fucking divers for fucking Crazy. forty years, yeah. and like scientists, wow. people that should know their people shit. and know their shit yeah. when it comes to the ocean water. So yeah. it was a very delicate. And here I, my black ass is, just like, oh, that sounds <laughs> cool sounds in the cool. fucking trailer. Let's just do it. 
Yeah. <laughs> I did it. That so was he the did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Yep. And it came back. You know, it came back. And I really had to, and you know, I had to talk to Aaron about it and kind of reason with him about that because I was like, that's the, you know, the way, that, the way that, the way that you put, right. absolutely. And we yeah. learned a lesson from it. It yeah. was like, you got to be careful with how you put people's words. And there was one person in the giant Pacific octopus that was actually didn't want to do it because of the fact that he had done something else. And, and they had mis misquoted him. misquoted him yeah, not only misquoted film. him but they also didn't credit him for anything that he any information that he gave and anything that he did so, so it was, was all leery. it was all bad and yeah. he didn't want to do it with us and i had chased him forever too yeah but um so it was you know that was and bad on us him. and then putting out that trailer and trying to get him and just finally getting him and then having a trailer come out with false information you know it was like it was it was heavy for me so you gotta be careful yeah you have to i do a lot of fact checking and a lot of making sure that i have my information correct because in a documentary that is the most key thing fuck you i can't remember what it was now in the trailer I'm it sitting. was so you you it was i remember who it was i knew too but i can't okay. remember what she yeah, said yeah but it was so i think it was something talking about the she octopus. said something about the octopus being on the red list yeah. But the octopus isn't on the red list. Something like that. But she was, was talking it was, about... It was part of another part of the she, conversation, she but said, you grabbed one part. Yeah. And she said the octopus... I thought it was Kelly. I no, thought it was, it was Kelly's no, part. No, it was not Are you sure? Kelly. Lisa. It was not Kelly. It, no, it was not Kelly. It was in Gig Harbor when we were there, and she said that the octopus are not... She made a comment about how they are not... Um, they are not, like, studied on that list oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. okay and you okay. put the that in there species, so it made it look like they're not studied <laughs> basically gotcha. the gotcha. way you the way you put it well in she it. fucking said it i didn't say it no but she, <laughs> she but if you would have put the whole thing in there would have said it's it a right. good goddamn line yeah you know what i mean let's <laughs> anyway, grab the audience with some but shit. that's a thing that's the thing when you're doing a documentary about something you don't know yeah. about I don't and, sure. and you know i didn't know i was learning along the way yeah so i didn't know either so when i said oh yeah that's great trailer put it out and then when it came back like that, I was shocked. I was like, what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I you, got it wrong. But see, we, oh, neither one of us, wrong? neither one of us knew hundreds of thousands of people were going to watch your documentary. Oh, we had no have. idea. We, we had, had no, no clue. clue. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's Well, that's it. another part of it. Yeah. yeah that's, but you live, you learn. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah documentaries but, are hard in that way. But, but the imagination can go anywhere. And there's no one going to come back at you with the imagination. There's no one going to say, oh, that's wrong. I don't know. We're making fan films. <laughs> well, I mean, fan films are a whole other ball game. Yeah, unless of yeah. course, you know, unless of course your imagination can't fulfill what it's supposed to be, and that's the whole point of this conversation. It's like we all have imagination. Yeah. We all have this gift. We Endless. all have this talent. This is this is our crew right here, right here. You know, us. We're the ones that do all this behind the scenes stuff. This group right here. And when we go out and we've got all these other people that believe in us, I feel so adamantly like fucking, I gotta, I gotta do it right. I gotta do it right for them. I could really give a shit what anybody else thinks outside of that watches it. I really don't care. I want them to watch it. So I, I think about that, that thing, you know, cause I want them, especially for fan films, you know, we've got a niche audience that we're trying to appease. But at the same time, when it comes down to it, I only give a fuck about everybody who went out there in the fucking rain and the goddamn cold that filmed with us about something we put on a piece of paper and they trusted mm -hmm. us with their fucking time away from their goddamn family. Yeah. So I make it for them. Watch it? Yeah, and I don't want to I don't want to do something shitty on screen that makes them cringe or their fucking friends or family or anybody else that they know goes I'll ask you I'll ask that. you a really direct question. Please. Are you because you're the you're the editor? Yes. Um, are you watching anything that gives you that feeling? On our on our stuff? Yeah. No, not at all. Well, then I think we're doing fine. Yes, it's just we a are. Pain in the ass. Thank you. No, we <laughs> are doing fine. No, I it don't feel like that. that. Yeah, yeah. The, the performances we get from our actors are amazing, and I know that these these guys haven't got the recognition that they needed. But that was the whole point of what we're why we're doing this. You know, yeah, we want to have fun and make some movies. We knew that fan films aren't going to make us any money. I mean, that was, you know, I'm sacrificing two years of my life to make this shit for fucking YouTube. We're competing against John Carpenter, for heaven's sake. You know what I, I mean? Know, yeah. yeah, and I mean, everybody else out there. Again, it all goes back to 
I mean, big what, ass budget. What your limits Little are? Every yeah. budget. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you're competing with some legends. Here. Yeah, okay. you've got legends that recreated these wonderful <laughs> characters in this this myth, and and we're trying to enhance that to appease fans of those people. They're going to be very picky, right? They're 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 they they are. Some of I them think will. that's why there's such a big yeah. following too, is because these guys are not making these stories anymore. Yeah. No, it's, it's a big it's undertaking. And it's like you, huge. like us, that are keeping this trend going. Keep it yeah. alive, you know. It'll it. get to a point. I think it'll get to a point. We might not see it this year, but in the coming years, it'll get to a point where all this content that we're putting out there is going to start getting views and views and views. And apparently, and eventually, you know, from my mouth to God's ears, there'll be one person that has that power. To say this is actually really Decent. good. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. And that person yeah. might have a big pocket and say, you know what, I'm going to come to these guys for, you know, this team for some bigger things. And that's the thing I wanted for all of us, you know, our group right here on this podcast. And, and that's then everybody what we else. need to be calling out every yes. day. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I mean, that, I think there's some people forget that it's not just the time that you put in. It's not just the networking hours. It's not just the time away from the families, away from the holidays, away from the... It's not just that. It's the internal dialogue that you tell yourself that resonates outward. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If you continue to doubt yourself, even if it's just a little doubt, a little doubt can in become infected absolutely. and it can... It can, it can, it can it, it can affect others. Yep. You got to internally tell yourself, I'm making a difference. Yes, I am going to get that opportunity. Yes, the door is going to open. Yep. Yes, I am going to walk through it. And yes, I am knowledgeable enough and I, I do know enough to get the job done. If you don't tell yourself that on a constant basis, then of course the doubt's going to corrupt your mind and you won't do it. Correct. And you won't, and you won't get the job done. And then, then, you know, the thing that you put out won't be good enough because you don't even know. Right. It's I, well, not and a, a, the word. A, you have to commit to telling yourself that it is that you are good enough. That's right. As a guy who lives in constant state of doubt, uh, <laughs> like my entire I'm, life I'm is right. filled I'm with right doubt. I'm right with you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. and it, it's funny because I think there's some people who uh, will constantly. I, I love I, like Aaron typically is like this, and, and Anthony. It sounds like it's the same way. Uh, where you can kind of say like, no, I'm just not gonna have it. And that is great. And that is great energy. And, but at the same time, if you end up having the doubt, you go, no, yeah. forward anyway. Yeah. Uh, that is just as good. I, I literally, I live, I, I would say the last 10 years of my life and all of my time in film, because you care, because you care. That's where the doubt comes from. And uh, it, it's it's that you don't want to make something. And I've made things that had budgets and they were not good. Yeah. And all you end up having to do is say, I'm going to do better than that. Yeah. And I think that you in everything and I, I believe I've seen everything you've made just about at least since the Outrider. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a constant improvement. Yeah. And that is you the sh best you thing see you could have done. Yeah. If we had guys, if we had dollars for our heart <laughs> and where we're at and our passion, we would be fucking billionaires. Yeah. We like, would. It's oh, all there. Okay, it's all let's there. Let's dial back. Millionaires, maybe. <laughs> Bill, no, no Carl. Billionaires. Billionaires. <laughs> billionaires. But, I mean, the, the whole aspect of everything that we do, too, that, that people forget about is like, you know, when, when you look, when we put out a film, even though we have a micro budget, the people watching the film and seeing the quality of the edit, the quality of the filmmaking and the quality of the score, the quality of the effects and everything else that raises the value instantly. So even though if we shoot something with a thousand dollar budget, we're looking at a hundred thousand dollar film value from what we have been able to put into it, but or more. acting. Yeah. Or more. Yeah. So that's one of those, that's one of those things that, yeah. you know, I've seen these films. It's not necessarily going to come to light, like, though. What do you That's mean you didn't have a budget? Yeah, I've seen these like, films. I'm, I'm watching yeah. your film, and it's it's like, what, would you have like a hundred grand? No. I wish. Yeah, no. Pay a thousand bucks. Well, and it's I love movie. the pace of people. Yeah, I've seen the movies, man. I've seen. I, I know they're crowdfunders. Yeah. I've seen what they've made. Yeah. And then I yeah. watched the movie, and I'm like, where the fuck did the money go? <laughs> I don't understand. I 
that's a, that's a whole other ball. Game. Yeah, that I don't is, understand. It's, happening a lot. It's, a it's been happening a lot more. A lot yeah, more. it is. A lot more. All the money is just going into the things that it doesn't need to be going into. Exactly. Or yeah. literally where? Yeah, yeah. or somewhere <laughs> else. Where? I, and you know, and I I get it. You know, let's get a name person in our movie so that we can. You know, boost it. Is showing. Well, how much are you paying that yeah. main person? Like, what the fuck is going on? You know what? what? You, you, you taint your name. Yeah, you know, I, I do agree. This is not independent film. It's not, I mean, not a. <laughs> if we were to put up everybody that's working in independent will, a film and with the population of the world, it's not a whole lot of people. Yeah. So, and especially if you're in the United States. Mm -hmm. Right. That's especially. Small. Yeah. Yep. So when you do a funding campaign like that, and then you don't finish the movie, there's a there's a limit in time that is real. Mm -hmm. That it gets to a point where if you don't start showing people where this money is going, and it's going into the realm of what you say it was supposed to go into, you are now tainting your name. Mm -hmm. And exactly. I, one thing that doesn't go away. No, it doesn't. It does not. I. And it's people's money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is. You are blacklisted, really. Yeah. Well, yeah, and uh, and more and more. Are. You're right, and more and more as time goes on, you see a lot of that. You see a lot of shitty stuff coming out with huge budgets, and you're mm -hmm. like, where did that go? That's why we're trying to do on nothing, on literally micro, little, slim, none yeah. budgets, trying to show people that invest their money. Awesome. What's what? possible? What's can possible? Be done? Well, you probably, what can you, be done? you guys have probably heard this before, but there's the old adage of, you know, you can do cheap, fast, or good. You got to pick two. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that when it, it's very easy to say, well, I have no money, and that's why something is, is not good, or I had all of this money, and that's why it should be good. But it really just comes down to the overall effort. I mean, it's it's not as simple as that. It's, right. It's, it's often not. the amount of effort and the amount of time and very likely small amounts of money that are a big deal to the people that are actually putting them in. You know, yeah. uh, and and it's just it's all effort. At the end of the yeah. day, it's all effort of one type or another. And you know, uh, your enthusiasm was one of the reasons why I started to listen to the show. Let alone start to want to work with you and i i really and once we get this you know i i, I don't like using fan film unauthorized sequel yeah. uh, <laughs> it <was> done. <laughs> that sounds so uh, much better thanks steve yeah um but uh once uh, we have this done you know my my genuine hope is between say goodbye and the there's a couple of other projects we're talking about my hope is you know and and my my belief and I hate saying God is an atheist, but my belief is that we will do it. Yeah. And it will be a pain in the ass. And it will be hard. And it will be long. But yeah. we'll do it. We'll and it will be better yeah. than what we're making Absolutely. right now. Absolutely, we will. And the thing is, like, Aaron and I, I we, watch you, a lot, we watch a lot of projects. And we think to ourselves, if they have this much budget? Like, what? And Aaron and I will sit there and talk about what could we do with that kind of budget? Right. <laughs> but it's educational, like, right? It is educational. Yeah. But, I mean... It's, it's all about just letting people know that you can do more with less if you try. And if you if put, you if you put, and you have the, the crew drive. and you have the, you know, yeah. like, like we are a family and with, you know, with very little, we can do a lot us right here on this yeah. podcast. We can do a lot with just us. Yeah. Anthony, honestly, so, brother, yeah. when we, when we I mean, go out to film, it's me and Chuck and Steve. If that, I, I did a shoot with Sam and I not right. too long ago. Yeah. You, you wouldn't yeah, know I the mean, difference. Could, I mean, yeah. I got the camera in my hand. Sam's holding audio or vice literally. versa. I mean, yeah. literally, that's yeah. all it is. So, yeah. you know, I get the footage. I go home. I do everything I can do to make it fucking shine. And then we move on. Well, and it's and I mean, that's how easy it is. People, that's how easy it is. Not, it's not hone, easy. Aaron, hone your craft, though. I Aaron mean, can do a lot. They're overthinking the fact that they can't do these things and they can't. Well, not they necessarily. Can. I mean, we think about how many. Okay, so Aaron in himself can do so many different jobs and so many different things. I mean, he can film, he can do sound, he can do everything. Like, he can edit, he can do this, he can do that. He made his movies on his own. So he's learned every single piece of it. Except music, of course. Thank well, you, Anthony. kind of down to music. Thank you. I mean, Thank you, Anthony. You've learned, <laughs> yeah. you've learned to, you learn to put 
music in it I somehow. Found stock I was say, if we did have free stock in, music, you know, great. Let's go. Stock music. You know. <laughs> I'll find something. Yes, Anthony, we need you. Yes, we are not discrediting your work at all. But no, but Aaron can do literally so many jobs that it, you know, it's almost not even fair to say what we can do based on what someone else can do. It's not even really fair because Aaron can do the job of, say, six people. And that's, you know, that's paying six people to do something that Aaron can do himself and he will do for nothing because that's his love. Because and that's it's his fun. Craft. Yeah, I love doing it. So it's not really, you know, fair for us necessarily to say that we can do so much with so little because of that reason. But at the same time, it is proof that you can. Yeah, but uh, you so, look at look at all these guys in this group. I mean, all of us have done that. I mean, Anthony was picking all, up fucking yeah. music shit when he was a kid. Steve, I don't even know how yeah. long you've been playing around with fucking computer programs and software to learn the things you've done. You've been on sets that we couldn't even, we've never been on. You know, you were working on a fucking studio stuff. I have no idea. Like, you know, and that's the thing about Steve that got me right away when we did the podcast with him back in the day. I'm like, right. here's a guy that's done stuff that we've never even been around. We have no idea. How come he's not doing this? And then I saw your stuff for your Universal Opera. And I'm like, why aren't you finishing that? What are you doing, man? And you were like, well, you know, I got tainted. And I'm like, well, it's true. Fuck. It's absolutely true. Well, yeah. I'm like, that's some bullshit. And well, I, come I then, hang out with us. Let's untaint you. you know, <laughs> and, and that's what we're doing. But, you know, then he did a little animation for GPO. And I'm like, I'm looking at it like, how the fuck did he do that with the fucking tentacles? I've been in After Effects. I don't know how to do that at all and i knew well, i just knew like you had something to give yeah. that's why i'm like bruh come on <laughs> that's that is exactly why you're able to do what we do that is i mean genuinely that that what you just said right now is the feeling that you bring to everybody and i'm not just trying i'm not just trying to blow you aaron uh but uh, <laughs> i mean you can come no, over true. and save me a day what i mean to say though is that that, that it won't we take very long like, <laughs> but when we were talking about all of the the energy and i i understand the feeling where you're doing the iou thing you feel bad because you're not paying people yeah. but yeah. they will i mean the thing is we're all and i mean everybody uh that we've worked with they all have the same thing we do which is they would fail at quitting if they decided to just go i'm just gonna work at like what i do where yeah. you're just like I'm just gonna wipe butts you know or whatever <laughs> um but you would just be doing that until you got driven nuts by it and then you'd be like i need to act in something i yeah. need to draw something and that's why they do it that's mm -hmm. why i do it that's why you do it it's why all of us that's do it do. and yeah. and the thing is when you join enough of those people together even if you don't have any money, they can feel part of something that took satisfies that need yeah and it's yes. passion the passion for our craft yeah is what keeps us i think all together and chuck knows mm -hmm. especially personally this because he quit and he came right back mm -hmm. so he knows the passion is what keeps you connected with everyone mm -hmm. else that is the same amount passionate <laughs> about your and shit. i would just also love to say that i'm so happy chuck is back Yes, yeah, we, all are. We, all we all are. I've only told him like 15 times. But well, I'm we so knew, Aaron and I kind of knew you'd be back, but that's a different story for another podcast. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, we'll talk about that one of these days. <laughs> We're going to talk about it soon. But yeah. Yeah, because I got shit to say about that, by the way. I love you, Chuck. But Aaron, I should say. Aaron, I already told you, you were right. I know. It. It's Let's not go. about being right. It's not about being right. You there's just, it there's it still like one thing. Like there's this one thing that still like is bothers me okay well we'll save that we'll save we're gonna that. have we'll another save. podcast with yeah. chuck about that yeah. all of that yeah. it's not it's say, not we bad can dive right the fuck in let's just take this to the second hour <laughs> <laughs> How gonna say, we can we just call this next week's podcast <laughs> i mean we could no, we could no, just uh, split it up and just yeah part one and part yeah, two part one part two um yeah i don't know guys i i uh i know i'm very proud of what we're we're doing I, I've, I've never been more proud of this and and I've never felt more satisfied with the final products that we've been putting out. I don't care if they're the little shorts or whatever. We bang those out. I just want to see if we can do it. Let's do one short a month. Let's see if we can do it. Because everybody takes some people take two fucking years to do a short film or longer. And I'm like, never what the fuck it. is going on? Or never put it yeah, out. It's like, it, it, I, you know, the run, the yeah. run that we've had 
making these shorts is pretty incredible. It's incredible. Even with I you, was, Anthony. I was looking back and I was putting together the sweets for the score and I was just like, man, this is, how did we knock all those out? We knocked it the fuck out. Yeah. out. Yeah. And quick too. Yeah, and quick. I'd send Anthony the fucking locked version and in a couple days I got music. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's that I've quick. Been waiting. And awesome. then he's going, okay, I gotta go work on someone else's stuff. I gotta go, okay, bye. And I went talk to him for a few weeks and the next thing I know. I he's gotta, come let, back. Me, let me go pay bills. Let me go pay bills. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was amazing. It's I, it's I it's have crazy. something to confess it's crazy stuff. to everyone. Something oh, to yeah. confess to everyone about me personally and my getting errands back. Um, Aaron's not always the nicest person. Oh. He's not been always the nicest person to me. What? But I have, but you what? know what? But Aaron <laughs> has, Aaron's dream is been easy for me to get his back about because he's so passionate, you know, and I sometimes I sacrifice for that dream because I believe so much in that dream. And all I can say is that it's that belief that has kept me with Aaron all these years and put up with all these things. And, you know, he's put up with me too, so I can't say it's just him. But, you know, he hasn't always been the nicest. <laughs> and neither have I. But we have stayed together because of that passion and that fire to create. I think we both have enough fire to create to make it matter and make it last and that's what's kept us together and that's what's kept us as like us as a group together i think is that passion and that fire and even though we're not you know adding up to say hollywood shit yet we're getting there we're gonna get there we're gonna make it and i fully believe in that and i'm not the the best at being positive all the time i sometimes am like i said i'm a realist so I, a lot of times I'm, I try to be realistic about things, but um, Aaron has shown me belief and believing in something. And just that's what's kept me, you know, hanging on all, the, all this time with podcasts and movies and everything because Aaron's dream is believable and he is believable and his passion is 100%. He's authentic at, as fuck about his passion. And he believes in what his dreams are and what his visions are, and it pulls you in. And I know, Chuck, you can kind of identify with that. I mean, like, it is. So that's what hangs us on all, and that's what keeps us all together, is that passion and that, like, we're gonna, something is there. Something is definitely there, and there's gifts with all of us. And if we put all of our gifts together, it's gonna be incredible. So... That's just my piece. I've never appeared up on the show. Oh, oh, I'm and that's sorry. and that's the wrap. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That, there's nothing else to say. Thank you for going to the on the reel. I was actually tearing up a little myself. Yeah. That's a that's a rare thing. Thank you. Sam. It is a rare. The other thing. half is is believes in you. Yes. When when you sometimes don't believe in yourself, that is rare. Yeah. That is mm -hmm. rare, and, and, the, and, and it, it, can, it can really get you going for a long time you know because i i know there's times just be my I look at my wife because you got this you got this and she says it in the most simplest way and for a man that is so crucial it's enough, it is. for your wife to tell you that yeah. because it means it means that you know what i do got this yeah yeah i'm gonna get this now for you yeah because because you said because you said that <laughs> yeah. you said that. that's exactly so now right. now it's like you want to conquer the world and mm. that is so rare it's so rare you don't know how important that is. I, I know he was tearing up because i was tearing up just hearing you say that because that's a beautiful thing you know yeah so yeah. all the all the faults aside it's the passion that i stick that i stick to and it's the love of what he's doing and the belief in it that it draws me and I can't, I can't break from that. I just am solid, like I support it 100% because it's there. His dream is bigger than my dream. So, you know, here I am. <laughs> it's really hard to um, describe like how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis with what we're trying to accomplish. I don't, I don't know how to describe it because I, I don't, I don't want it to come across like, you know, I'm don't struggle with it. There is a struggle. 
you know i don't I, I i hate going to my day job but not as much as i used to because i don't mind the place but at the same time it's the time right it's the time because i can't stop thinking about this stuff but then i feel bad because when i get home and i have that time i hear you guys over here watching mm-hmm. movies and kids playing and shit and i'm up here fucking what in a place where it's not it's not even fucking real trying to make dreams happen yeah you know and and i have no way to guarantee you it ever will no and i know i don't there's and everybody knows that we all know that we all know know that's a given right it's so crapshoot it is so to have any kind of enthusiasm about something that isn't a guarantee is i don't know how to describe that but Aaron, you hey. have so many people following hey. you because you do believe in it so much. Hey. <laughs> yeah. and, like know. honestly, right? I don't know. Hey, I- I'm in the same the boat. Biggest mystery personally. in the world. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I guess that's. What I think it is, it's anyway. one of those. Yeah. I-, I I personally think Aaron and being a uh, a dad, I'm like I would. Ne- I, it's the only thing that would ever make me give up movie making. In fact, it kind of was the first time where I was like, if I keep doing this, I'm going to end up uh, blowing my head off or leaving my wife and neither of those is very productive um but but uh when when you struggle through it and you can you can say okay they may be outside my my wife is the most important thing in my life and you know my son's right there with her i'd just like to be noted uh but if you didn't have what you do you'd go insane exactly you really you know you're you're like okay i i do the same thing i'm like i miss out on my kid for you know like saturday you know like i'll miss out on my kid for that but i'm like that has to bring you that per- personal fulfillment and the fuel that it takes to live the rest of your life right. so don't I, I personally would say don't feel bad about that but i feel bad about it constantly yeah. so uh we'll you do. know let's we'll work out do. and subconsciously yeah. i get that and that's why I, I i i make that sacrifice and do these things because i know when i do have time to hang out with everybody i'm a better man I'm You're a better there. person. I am not going to be that guy that's going to be talking shit or hate everything all the fucking time or just yeah. be miserable. He's at his worst when he can't do what he loves. Yeah, I'm when just not. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's, I don't, we're built that way. We're just built, we're person. built different. I got the answer right there. You're a better person when you are the yes. And it all yep. goes, you know, speaking of Jim Carrey and going back to Dumber and Dumber, he said something that I, I truly try to live my life by. And it's, you're going to fail at what you don't want to do. Yeah. So you minus will try doing what you love. Exactly. I love yeah, that. That's beautiful. I, I, I it's remember beautiful. That. Yeah. That, that right, I mean, that is as truthful yeah. as it gets. Yeah. It gets, right. Yep. And Anthony, that's spot on. Yeah, yeah. And that's one of the things that made me realize, you know, I, I took that jump too, Anthony, just to try it one time. And well, we lasted a little while. But, you know, the reality is I needed to get a fucking job again. And there I am working, you know, and then I think it was you that actually said it, you know, that feeds this. I think you told me Mm -hmm. that. That, Sounds like Anthony. Yeah. God God knows how many jobs I've had. Yeah. To where, and and God rest her soul, it was my mom, you know, because my mom, you know, I was, you know, my mom worked two jobs with me and my sister growing up. So I, I come from a strong line of strong women here that you know so i saw that as a kid growing up so i i knew that if this is something that i wanted to do i had to keep feeding and i've had numerous jobs in this life to just say i have to do this to keep this alive Mm -hmm. and and every time i turned to my mom and i looked at her she goes you better get up and get to work (laughs) the early bird catches the worm that's right First saying, God rest your soul, every day. The early bird yeah. catches a worm. So if I right. slip out at a certain hour, she goes, ah, you ain't gonna make it. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. You better get up and go. So I, I get this job to feed this, to yeah. feed this, until it got to a point where I felt like I don't need it anymore. Yeah. I don't need it anymore. Okay, yeah. let's, let's go, let's go. Your dream is dying every day. Yeah, it is. Right it is. Now, it it's is. dying. If you don't do it, you have you to keep it alive. You gotta keep it alive. Yep, you're yeah, you're absolutely you're right, right, man. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Every yeah, day. It takes every my day. life tomorrow, and if it takes my life tomorrow, damn it, I did everything I could to keep it alive. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. And I think that anyone that you can hang on to or be around, and like, okay, so I took my kid to the dentist today, and the lady that was the dental hygienist 
for her, told her. So we were talking. She was, <laughs> this is kind of cool. She was <laughs> telling my daughter, hey, I didn't think I was smart enough to be a dental hygienist. I didn't think I was smart enough because it took me three times to remember something that it took other people one time to remember. But she was like, but what got me here is that drive and that passion to keep going. And she's like, and some people quit because, oh, they don't understand it in one time or two times, then they quit. Mm -hmm. And she's like, but I went that third time and I kept doing it and I kept trying and here I am. And I thought I was not smart enough to be a dental hygienist and here I am because I had that passion, I had that drive. So that drive and that passion is really, that hit me hard when she said that to my daughter because I was like, I couldn't have said it better myself. I have not been, you know, that kind of mother <laughs> with those kind of words and I wish I had, but that matters and I hope my daughter heard that because that is so true about life in general, in any way you look at it. Yeah. That is true. It is the passion and the drive is what's going to get you somewhere. Not how dumb or how smart or how, you know, it's not about that. I didn't graduate from high school, but here I am making documentaries that matter, that are changing, you know, that people are watching. Right. It's like, I didn't graduate. I didn't, you I don't have You can say changing diploma. people's lives because some of you them know, are. Yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, I hope that some of them may change people's lives someday. And I keep trying to do that because that's my passion and my drive, but I have that passion and drive. But I don't have a diploma. So, <laughs> but you, no, it meant a lot what she said, yeah. you know, about that passion. But it's people in the world don't. Yeah, they don't. A lot of people don't yep. and they think they're not Correct. smart enough. Like she some of the smartest people say you don't need it. Honestly, you don't. Mm -hmm. You don't, <laughs> you really don't. It's about doing the reps. It's about I mean, having it's about that drive. Correct. Have that drive and have that yeah. passion. Yeah, and and being dedicated. Yes. You know, to something. I mean, yeah. if you commit, you commit. And if you think about it, everything that you know, like if you practice, you get better. Absolutely. So everything yep. that you practice, you put your heart in it and you practice it, you're gonna be amazing at it if you keep doing it and keep practicing and keep practicing. That's they say 18 that. minutes a passion. day. Passion. 18 minutes a day is all it takes. Is that it, what it takes? It, oh, you you're down to the art. Day and you're already doing it more than I think ninety five percent of the world. people. Yeah, honestly, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, I've seen so that. So the passion. That's what helped me learn Mandarin. Mm -hmm. Okay. That yeah. fact that's right a there. Hard okay, language. Minutes. Let me set the timer. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Right, <laughs> Nineteen minutes. I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're a god to me because that is a hard language. <laughs> um, right on that nineteen minutes, I'm, 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 I'm done. done. I'm done. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ni hao zai jia. You see what I'm saying? Like, what does that mean? I can understand Hello, my mother in law. I'm done. Oh. Steve. Oh, you need to learn. I love it. I love it. And it's gangster. It's so gangster. <laughs> All right. So, b before we end, guys, um, Chuck. Yeah. So, you did have a moment, and we're going to, this is going to be like the, the, the teaser. The prelude? Yeah. The, for the prelude next to show a that kiss? we do. Um, when you left, it it, yeah. it, it, it was hard, mm -hmm. right? Because I remember when we started this shit and with a fucking little handheld camera trying to make a movie with fucking kids. Bunch of kids. <laughs> and you showed up and you were there and you seemed as passionate about this stuff as I did from day one, from fucking day one. And I knew your background. We were friends for a minute before we started doing this. I knew you loved Fangoria Magazine. I knew you loved movies. <laughs> you and your dad were watching. Mom, you guys watched everything I've ever watched. We that how often we went to the fucking movies every Friday night for years. Yeah. We never missed that fucking happened. Friday. So it, it shocked me to think that there was a comment you made. And this is going to lead into your show. <laughs> because I had to convince Sam about this 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 opportunity we had to make movies and to to do this show and and maybe one day we can make it to a point where this is what we do for our, our living this is what we do how blessed would we be to have that right i never had to convince you of that chuck i had to convince right. sam she oh, was yeah. always the one pushing back on me 
Like, that's a fucking dream bullshit. You're a fucking Pisces. You're a fucking weirdo. Reality. You know, hello. Reality. Okay. I, I haven't seen it happen uh-huh. yet, motherfucker. You know, I, that I kind get, of comment. I get that. Okay. The Pisces come yeah. drop. <laughs> yeah. I'm a realist. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, these are the comments I got, you know. And, and, and the biggest one was what Sam would always say was, well, remember, and this is your dream, not mine. And it always broke my fucking heart. Like, <laughs> God damn it. No, shit. but but oh, just shit. like everything else, I'm stubborn and an, a fucking asshole. And I wouldn't take it. Your and wife I, sounds a lot like mine. Okay, so I would keep pushing her. I keep I pushing her, I keep pushing her. Me. And uh, irony is she made the job sick off because made more money than anybody we made. Oh, oh really? how ironic. Okay, yeah. great, good for you. Yeah. Okay. But still, still, it's a beautiful thing because it worked. It worked, right? But I had to fight it. But when Chuck got ready, when he was leaving, we had a conversation, he said, Aaron, this is your dream, not mine. And you kicked my ass with that comment, Chuck. And that's what I keep holding on to. You you use something that Sam used against me, who didn't believe. But I didn't know you Sam believe from day one. Regularly. Oh, she said it on this podcast. I can pull up fifty well, podcasts. You said I will, that. I will, I will say this in front of Maybe everybody six, and to you, Aaron. I will say this to you for sure. This dream that you have is bigger for you than it is for me, and I don't bigger. doubt that because of everything that you'll do to sacrifice to make to chase this part of the dream now with everything that i have and everything in my lifestyle and everything that i've done in my life if i ever get, get an opportunity to become a full-time producer for movies i will be probably one of the best fucking producers on the planet because i can build a hundred houses at one fucking time however i do stick to the fact that i did say this is more of a dream for you than this for me because if 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 i became a mute tomorrow and I couldn't fucking talk, and I couldn't do it and express everything, but I could still work and do what I've known the whole time. I could still find happiness in my life. I truly believe that happiness in your life is chasing this to the very, very end. And I am here to support you and to help you chase that. And yes, I want to see us grow. I want to see us build. Um, the best thing I could say is like when we first came up with an idea of what it looks like to be a successful company, the first year that we can make 50 grand, Sam could quit her job and then we could go from there. Once we got to 125 grand, Aaron's done. He can quit his job and we can go from there. Once we get to 250,000, that's it. We're all working full time. The company's making money. We're making money. We're all getting through everything. Okay. But the whole aspect is always me last because I don't mind doing the day job. I don't mind going through everything as long as we're building something. And now we're building something off of Sam's back. But we're building something off of what we're doing. And right. we're all doing it together. And now, is it part of my dream? Yeah, obviously. Look at the passion that goes into everything I do. And even when I pulled out, which I should have done more often in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Sorry. I had yeah. to throw something in there. It, it, anyway, you know. sorry. You sure did. <laughs> so, Sophia matters. I, Sophia Lyons even though matters. I, even though it's a skill. Said, it's a skill. I tell you that. It is a skill. Even though... Even though I pulled out and I was like, this isn't exactly what I want. I was still here for a reason. Yeah. And I get no, that. I, I, I pull back from everything that we were doing. And Aaron's like, I wrote you a scene. Sorry. Yeah. Too damn bad. Yeah. Sorry you're in Right. It. So. Well, just and so even you... though I. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Finish, please. Oh, I was just saying. So even though I pulled out, I didn't want to fully leave. I know I didn't want to fully leave. I, I you know, I lost my wife. I lost my not the, not to death, but I lost my okay. marriage. I that lost my son, and I was running away from life for about five months. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank that, you. Yeah. That story alone is inspirational. The fact that you're on the show and, and <laughs> it really deserves a whole show in itself. It does. That's it, what we are gonna we're gonna plan. Do it. We're gonna. It do really it. wasn't. It's not an easy thing. I think still no. with what you got through, but. It's pretty inspiring to know that you're still here and that you're still pushing through it. He came back because Anthony, he loves us. Yeah. He can't. You fucking love it's it. Like you a, know it's, it. Like a, Stop it lying. it's like an Alabama tick. You just can't get the whole fucking thing out. It keeps gnawing at you for a little yeah. while. Yeah, you know? we, we're like ticks. We just, you know, latch on. So that was an Aaron reference, you know, for Predator. For Predator. Oh. Um, I totally Let's missed see. it. I was like, I'm like a chick. No, and and here's the, here's the thing that's funny too. Lately, I've been thinking about that check before we we should write in the show. But um, yeah, it's totally. it's just uh, you know the the definition you have for me, it was true. It's not anymore. Like I'm I'm finding more and more happiness in just everything I do. I find it easier. And then I had I was listening to Rogan last night, and they said the same thing. 
when him and the rock were talking and i was like wow that's kind of where i've started to go into where you know if you can enjoy everything you do you're you're going to be in a better place as a person you know even if i have to go to a place i don't want to go to if i can find a way to enjoy that while i'm there it's going to make everything else better i'm not going to get sour and bitter and angry and you know poor me and then get selfish about my my choices i made in my life and where i'm not at at 50 you know i mean that's yeah. that stuff matters if you can come to terms with it and just be okay and i'm kind of okay you know and i couldn't say that two years ago or five years ago especially 17 or 15 years ago i couldn't say that at all i wasn't okay but i feel right. okay now you know i feel okay and that's okay now i'm gonna, now I'm gonna I'm stop at. you for one second sam what does he seem okay he does he does he's definitely better than he was ever I'm not perfect. He's not, oh, <laughs> well, God okay, no. well, that's a whole but other story. He is perfect. far from perfect. I ain't perfect. He's far from perfect. I, you're, I think no, you're always going to have he, something so lingering. Great. There's dingle, got, there's dingleberries hanging from all of us. From he's whatever. got a lot of dingleberries, <laughs> but <laughs> you know. But no, he's good though. In just in his acceptance of like what life is and how it's going to be and stuff like that. And that was the whole point of this podcast was to point out the fact that. Just being, you know, settling. Settling is not always bad. Yeah. You know, sometimes you no. have to settle to be okay. I feel like and I dumb myself down, but it's fine. But we don't use dumb down anymore because we decided <laughs> that that right. wasn't a good but way to put it. It's just a good way but to But you made it show. through it. It's right. like yeah. settling, I mean, settling is hard. Figuring out, adapting. Yeah. Adapting to it life is. and adapting to what you can do and what you can't do is you know it's something identifying you, yeah your yeah, limits yeah. and knowing your your lane and what you're good at and what you're not good at i think is vital for yeah. everybody um, yeah you know i i'm first one to admit there's things i can't do i i can't do that Dreams i can't are big. i say that to sam i'm like i don't know how you talk to these people like you do there's certain people she can talk to she can talk to anybody and be fine with them and different. i know they're full of shit and she's still nice and i'm like how do you fucking do that how do you do that that is so amazing it's a superpower and that's a and that's a great trait to yeah have. chuck has it too mm -hmm. i think that's why ccc entertainment is so good because it's very truthful but if it was just you wearing like, it we'd be fucked we'd be fucked <laughs> on that part right right uh -oh. anyway. Anthony froze. Oh no! Did we lose Anthony in the middle of a point? Yeah, he, he was. was in and the and there's this point, point right obvious. there. Right yeah, like... <laughs> That's a good time though, because we need to actually end this. We podcast. should probably cut but it. Yeah, we. I did want to hear what the rest of Anthony had to say, but so he I. got frozen. Especially since he was talking about all the wonderful things of season here. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Um. All right. Well. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm just waiting to see if he comes back. Let's see. Let's I know. Give him I'm kind of waiting, too. But yeah. I have to pee, so I'm, I can't wait. Okay, you go Okay, pee. well, you, you have the baby okay. bladders, so you got to... In the meantime, let's listen to a DJ Aaron over on Casey. Okay, rock. Yeah, Casey. Yeah, okay, rock. come back. Love you, Samantha. Oh, oh shit. We totally lost Anthony. Yeah, Bummer. Gone. All right, that's Aww. okay. Um, I love him, too. Yes. Steve, thank you. Yeah, thank no, you for having me, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. No, I don't. I, th I think it's important for people to see, like you know, a team talking like they would talk. Yeah, and this is what we do. Oh, well, he's coming back. There he is, coming back. He's coming back. Oh, nice. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I'll put the music in. I'll, I'll shut up so we have music playing. He will be playing. There he is. He's back. Now we can end the show properly. I was looking. I was like, where? Where's our? Uh... <laughs> What happened here? Is my internet connection down? I was, I, was point of, I was like, what plug came undone? You were making a good point, too. The and last thing we said was, the Sam, great thing about Sam CCC Entertainment Group, and then, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we saw. Yep, you were right here, dude. You were right here. It's great. It's great. Yeah, and you know us. We won't edit that shit out. It'll be beautiful. I love it. <laughs> it's great. It's great. All the way till you come back yeah. right now. So what, and this I, I'm is sorry. where it all ended. Yes. Yeah. Sam Anthony, had to go pee. Saying? She'll be right back. Have Steve, have Steve do a really nice graphic with a circle. That they Next phase, episode two. Don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, anyway, we're about to end the show. Sam's back. Um, I know I appreciate you guys more than you probably know. So um, thank you very, very much for all the effort, believing in our shit, um, getting our back, and 
just being our friends. It's 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 an honor knowing you guys. Seriously. Real. We're a film family. We, yes, we are a film family. family. Yes, we yes, are. Yes, we are. Chuck, you want to close, close the show out? Bro? Since you're back. Bitch, I've been here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not like I just came back yesterday. I've I mean, been kinda. here for a minute. Wait, hang on. Minute and a half. So, now that I've been back, let me just take a moment to say thank you everybody for joining us down around the real. Thank you for joining us for a fucking hard drink, which I have no idea where my glass went. Thank you for a little uh, a little nip and a long conversation with a whole bunch of our wonderful friends here from CCC Entertainment. Family. Group, from our beautiful composer, Anthony Espina, to our Speaking wonderful writer drink. and Speaking and of graphics. hard drinks. Oh, hey. Jesus oh, hey. Lord. Hey. My wife's uh, uh, anniversary gift was... Uh, Crystal Head Vodka. That's oh, no shit. joke. Nice. Which is owned by who? Akron. Akron, yeah. yeah. Oh, good job. Yeah, I didn't know that. Akron. Wow. Okay. Wow. Does he come over and pour your drinks for you? If he does, I'll be well, there. In I got to, I got to uh, work. He narrated a short film that I did, I did a while back. No shit. So, nice. That's got to work on a film with him and him. With him and him. That's badass, dude. I love it. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Gangster. I love it. I love it. Anyway, sorry, Chuck. Go ahead. So from Anthony Espin, our wonderful, beautiful composer, from Steve Eaton, one of our wonderful writers, part-time directors, and also graphics artists, uh, to Aaron Carlson, the wonderful guy who keeps everything running, gunning, and flowing through, and cares more about sharing what we're doing with the people who are out here doing it with us, as opposed to all of you out there who are eventually going to see it. And of course, <laughs> Sam, the only person in this whole entire group, well, excuse me, Anthony, I apologize, excuse me a moment, and Steve, yes, you have a wonderful place you do, but everything from CC Entertainment Group, the only person who makes us fucking money. I make that Thank money. You, Sam, for everything you do. <laughs> Stop second-guessing yourself, woman. You're irritating the fuck out of me. I just want you to know that. I love you to death. Stop second-guessing yourself you're good at what you do suck it up okay. and own it okay everybody out there remember i'm gonna say one thing really quick yeah i'm back fuck whatever <laughs> everybody said film family a minute ago i had a birthday a little while ago i love my family that i actually have my family dynamic has been changing ultimately for over the last year and a half and it's been hard so yes bitches i'm back this is me and this is my family this is CCC Entertainment Group. Thank you for joining us on Around the Reel. And remember, think hard because you're thinking anyway. We'll see everybody later. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Love you guys. Take care, guys. For those of you that want to be a guest on Around the Reel, please email Sam at Around the Reel 253 at gmail.com. That's Around the Reel 253 at gmail.com. Not Messenger. Do not message Aaron on Messenger because then he has to send you a message that says email Sam at around the real 253 at gmail.com. That's around the real 253 at gmail.com. How come they can't just message me again? Because nobody wants to fucking talk to you. Can anybody reach out that's an artist, filmmaker, actor? If you're an artist of any kind, we want to hear from you. But we are going to vet the crap out of you. We don't care if you make millions of dollars in Hollywood or if you're just beginning your career in the art industry. We don't care. So everybody that wants to be on Around the Real, yes, we want you. That's Around the Real 253 at gmail.com.